At the end of this video you will know how a planned workout created in the intervals.icu platform shows in the Garmin workout screen. Welcome to the Self-Coached Cyclist. Where I share my interpretation, approach and practical use of cycling training concepts using a GPS bike computer. This is a continuation of the creating a cycling power planned workout in intervals.icu video. Watch it before this one if you have not yet done so. Link in the description. As we saw in the creating a cycling power planned workout in intervals.icu video, once the workout is saved in the platform, it is automatically sent to Garmin Connect. Now, it has to be sent to the device where you will use it. Select the send to device icon in Garmin Connect and then the device. We are using an Edge 1040. A confirmation screen shows. You will see it in the main screen as last workout added. Touch it, select ride and then press the start button on the device. If the workout does not show in the main screen, then touch training followed by workouts and select it from the list. As before, select ride and then press the start button on the device. Notice that in the workout layout image in the Garmin screen, the ramp up and ramp down used when building the workout in intervals.icu is not supported by Garmin and these sections are flat. The Garmin workout screen shows. Let's see where the settings made in intervals.icu show in the Garmin workout screen. On the left you can see the intervals.icu workout setup screen, on the right the Garmin workout screen. The interval time shows on the top of the Garmin screen. The interval target power is displayed next as a range of power values. When using power zones, you should make sure that there is consistency among your settings in the device and those in intervals.icu. If they do not match there will be discrepancies among the two. The target power display applicable to Garmin, which we selected as 3 seconds in intervals.icu, is shown in the Garmin screen as the intensity control parameter with its current value just below. You must keep this value within the target to meet the workout training intent. The cadence secondary target we entered manually is shown below on the right side with the current value on the left side. As with power, you must keep this value within the target to meet the workout training intent. The text to display to athlete will show for about 5 seconds on the top of the Garmin screen when there is a transition to the next interval step. Finally, once the workout is finished and if you followed it as intended, the load shall be within of what was estimated by intervals.icu. For this workout it was estimated in 56 points and the actual session TSS was 55.9 meaning the training intent was met. This image shows how it looks in Garmin Connect after completing it. The white line represents the planned workout and the pink one is the actual power output. Notice that in both the warm-up and cool-down, Garmin does not support the ramp-up in the warm-up neither the ramp-down in the cool-down that were used in the workout creation. This is how the planned and completed workouts look in intervals. The blue line shows the planned workout and the purple one is the actual power output. Notice that both the warm-up and cool-down ramps are shown. If you want to go deeper into planned workouts in this platform, check out our video tutorial. You can find the link in the description. To support your self-coaching journey check our ebooks and guidelines. I've summed up everything I've learned so far in an ebook, The Self-Coached Cyclist, Training with Power. It covers everything I use to train on my own, and that you too can apply to your training, to make sense of your data and improve your cycling. If you want quicker access to all the key training insights as well as help support the channel, grab your copy now, link in the description. To get a hold of its contents, download our free guide, The Self-Coached Cyclist Training with Power, Concepts, that contains the first two parts. Besides the ebook, you can get our free training planning worksheets to support your self-coaching journey that you can download right now, including Cycling Fitness CTL Planning Worksheet the 2025 Cycling Fitness TSS CTL Planning Worksheet. All the links are in the video description. If you're passionate about cycling and want to get the most out of your GPS bike computer, subscribe to the channel for more videos on training with power and using your GPS bike computer. Have questions? Drop them in the comments and join our mailing list for exclusive tips, updates, and resources to help you ride smarter and have more fun. Let's keep learning and riding together.